still remains quite tense. Riots across the country continued the whole night, and law enforcement agencies tried to disperse the crowds. PTI, uh, the party of the former Prime Minister Imran Khan, claims that six people have died in the clashes between the law enforcement and the protesters. Uh, a state of emergency, a state, uh, a state of emergency has been imposed in three out of the four provinces in the country, and school offices, private businesses are closed in most part of the country. Mobile internet still remains shut, and social media websites like Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube remain inaccessible in major cities. On the other hand, the authorities have arrested a number of top leaders from Imran Khan's party from different parts of the country, and raids are still being conducted to arrest other leaders. Uh, these scenes of chaos that these scenes of chaos that we saw yesterday were unprecedented. People attacking military installments and burning down government buildings. The supporters of the former uh, Prime Minister Imran Khan uh, blamed the Pakistan's all-powerful establishment, which is the country's military, to be behind his arrest, as Imran Khan has been criticizing them since he has been ousted from office. And he blames that the military was behind ousting him from the office of the prime minister. Imran Khan, uh, who was supposed to be presented in the court today, but because of the situation, the government has, de has decided to take uh, to carry out the hearing inside the police headquarters rather than an open court, as there are fears that his supporters can attack the courtroom. Uh, on the other hand, the PTI supporters are calling out this move as a government attempt to keep Imran Khan under pressure.